welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a look at um, how you uh, update your Citrans library um, into PCS7 or any library. Um, so we have here our current project and I have already done this because I've posted a video showing how to do the Coriolis meter. But the first thing you need to do The first thing you have to do is add your library to your project. You'll need to remove this this after. Um, as we get going, it will make sense. So there's my Citrans library. So I can now see my Citrans library is is within my project. So if I go to my blocks and then go to charts and update blocks I can I can see here that um, the the items that are selected and I just click next if there's any of these libraries I don't want to integrate at this moment in time, I can unselect them. Okay. Get a summary of what blocks were imported. You can print that off and keep that for later. So that's Im imported the blocks and the templates into PCS7. So the, the next stage is to um, import the visualization so I need to remove my library so I don't want it there all the time so if I right click my Citrans library multi project and I'm going to remove that from my multi project so I'm back to where I was so to adjust the visualization side of things I need to open up my um, WinCC editor. So I have to open up my OS project editor. Go to basic data and then you can see here update wizards and everything are selected and simply click on, click on OK. Of course at this stage I should already have my Citrans library um, installed. So this is just bringing now those visualization aspects of the library into my current project. If you have a separate OS, then you'll need to, to, to run this procedure on your separate OS as well. So there you have it, Citrans library version 9.2 is integrated into my project. I uh, hope that was useful, short video. Thanks for listening and please tune in to future videos. Thanks a lot.